Attention, Titans. Are you... Attention, Titans. Are you... Attention, Titans. Are you a student that has taken or is taking grade 10 science? Uh, this morning, I just wanted to pray uh, the, the gospel reading today. I think there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff in there that speaks to us, even though Jesus is directly empowering his uh, apostles, his followers. Um, he did not reserve that power just for his direct followers. You know, he, uh, he entrusts them with this, but if we in, t- in turn believe that we have the same powers these apostles have, um, I think our, our, our lives can change. We seem to welcome in the Holy Spirit. Uh, so without further ado, we'll read Gospel uh, according to Luke. So if you want to join me in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, take nothing for your journey, no staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. Wherever they do not welcome you as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They departed and went through the villages, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. So God, we just pray for a faith like the apostles who had that direct contact with Jesus. We pray that we too can have that direct contact with you through prayer. As you are not a a God, we don't worship a God that is is deceased, but a God that is living. And we pray that we don't allow anyone who maybe uh, confronts us with or challenges us with our faith or bogs us down. We don't let them uh, distract us from the truth that you love us and that you have an incredible plan for our lives. Invite the Holy Spirit in to our day today, to our week, and to all of our struggles. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Attention, Titans. Are you a student that has taken or is taking grade 10 science, grade 11 biology, or grade 11 healthcare? Are you in grade 10, 11, or 12 and interested in a career in the healthcare field? If the answer is yes, then listen up. If you are already enrolled, if you are already enrolled or are interested in the Schism program in health and wellness, there will be an informational meeting about Schism this Wednesday, September 25th. That is today in room 246. This meeting is for current health and wellness Schism students and anyone new who would like to enroll. Please come to room 246 at the beginning of lunch for a brief but important meeting. Please see Mrs. Bao if you have any questions. The junior boys volleyball began this season with a, re- with a strong start facing off against a high. After four really close sets, the boys came up just short, losing three sets to one. The coaches are super proud and are excited for a great season. 
Attention Titans, our library is running a very exciting new contest. It's a monthly draw for a $15 Tim card. For each full-length novel you read, fill in a quick review of the book, and you'll receive one ballot to enter the draw for a $15 Tim Hortons gift card. Our first draw will be held in the library at lunch on Thursday, October 24th. Get reading, Titans. See Miss Jackson or Miss McCollman in the library for more info. Attention, Holy Trinity musicians. It's time to get the band back together. The first HG concert band rehearsal will be held in the music room, room 147, after school this Wednesday, that's today, from 3 to 4.30. Please see Mr. Webster if you are interested in joining. Good morning, Titans. A couple of additional announcements. Uh, September 30th is the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. On this day, we wear orange shirts to acknowledge and raise awareness about the damaging effects of the residential school system on our Indigenous communities and culture. As a school, we will be participating in the Orange Shirt Day and have been challenged by Assumption College to see which school gets the higher percentage of students and staff wearing orange. So I'm asking you all on September 30th, which is Monday, to wear your orange shirts. We'll actually be coming around and doing a count of all the people wearing orange shirts, and we hope to get a higher percentage than Assumption College. So please participate and wear your orange shirts to show support for the National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. Um, also, uh, on Friday of this week, as you've already heard, our football team is participating in the Every Child Matters football game, and we are sending a bus of senior students. The bus is almost full, but we have about 10 spaces left, so we will be accepting your permission forms and money from senior students until tomorrow morning. Uh, the cutoff date to get yourself on that bus is tomorrow morning, so please try to fill that bus, and we're asking everybody on that bus as well to be wearing your orange shirt on Friday as well. Um, we will also be participating in the Orange Hearts campaign. So many teachers have taken orange hearts from the main office, and we're asking you to write messages of support on those hearts while you're in your classes. And as teachers, as you have your orange hearts completed, can you please return them to the main office as it will take a lot of time to get them all up in our windows. Um, two last minute announcements. Students heading to the Indigenous Skilled Trades Day at the Gathering Place today have to go to the main entrance now if you haven't already done so. And all boys rugby players are to go to the gym at lunchtime today for a meeting. That's all from me, Titans, uh, and there's no promos today, so have a great day.